So hey guys, uh, MMM Bolt here. Um, I'm going to show you what my scuff controller looks like and everything. So uh, here is the controller I got. It's the white scuff. Um, someone was talking about, I forget the uh, uh, tag, but someone was talking about my grips and everything. It's the uh, squid grips. Uh, I like those a lot better than paying the extra price for the uh, uh, scuff grips and uh, it's about the same price. One was $15.95. These were $14.95. Uh, they work great. I've been able to transfer them from three different controllers, so they last a long time. Um, just a breakdown of everything. I've also got the Control Freaks, so uh, they're just a nice little addition. I got the FPS uh, Freaks, so they sit up a little bit higher than a normal controller so here's a normal controller actually this one has the uh, control freak uh, close quarter combat ones um, but this one is a mod junkies controller and I'm going to show you the difference between the two and kind of the similarities between the two so as you can see it's got the scuff one paddles I only got two paddles and I'm going to explain all this uh, in my pricing breakdown and everything but um, kind of how I'll take my chat adapter off Kind of how these two controllers are the same is they both use a button system on the back. So you got the scuff one paddles, uh, you see right there. But then also on my Mod Junkies one, you've got two buttons. You kind of see them right there. Now what they did is they tore the uh, controller apart and drilled two holes through them and then exposed the buttons. Uh, I'm assuming they soldered them to the board or inside or added something in there and then put those two buttons uh, but they're fully uh, remappable so I can change these anytime on the fly similar to what Scuff's gonna do but Scuff's doesn't have that uh, ability yet and I explained that in the uh, uh, pricing of everything that I did uh, why I got them these I can change to X and B uh, X and A, A and B uh, uh, left bumper or anything like that. So um, This one was a good controller, but if you can hear that little rattle uh, You may not be able to hear it. There's something loose in there build quality on the mod junkies I just didn't feel was quite up there uh, They've got a warranty. I'm going to take it back. I've already emailed them uh, They're they're gonna honor it. They, they feel bad. Uh, I know it shouldn't have anything wrong with it but uh, they're going to honor that, uh, so I, I thank them for that. I got to send that back in. But back to the scuff. Uh, you can kind of see I got, it looks blue in the camera, but it's actually a purple LED. And you'll see that on the pricing and everything. I, I thought the LED changing was cool. But uh, other than that, I mean, how scuff does their, uh, how scuff does the buttons is the the exact same way as the mod junkies so you see the mod junkies has the two buttons right there well if you can see on scuff they've got them right there so in fact if I take the uh, battery cover I mean that's all that all these are just little plastic pieces on the battery cover and put them on the mod junkies I don't want to take it off but it actually covers just on top and it'll and it'll hit them and everything. So the mod junkies is a is a nice cheap cheaper alternative, but um, the scuff is a lot better. The build quality, everything is lasting. I've put this thing to the test. I've had it for a week now. Um, the white looks fantastic. I didn't like any of the. I'm not a specific fan to any type of team, so I didn't want a team uh, uh, controller, but. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you watch the uh, pricing breakdown, but my buttons on the back right now are X and B, and when remapping becomes available, I'm going to do that because, and I'm also going to add two uh, paddles just because the buttons, or there's so much more in Titanfall than just a few weapons and stuff, and so I feel like I'm going to need a lot more paddles, and I kind of explained that a little bit better in the next part of my video. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my scuff. It's got the squid grips on it. Uh, it's got the FPS freak control freaks. Um, and if there's any questions, let me know. But, uh, here's the next part of the video, the pricing breakdown and everything.
Okay, guys, so now I'm going to break down about how I bought my scuff and everything and all the different uh, stuff I priced out. Uh, so we'll go to the website and everything. I kind of already have it opened up and stuff. So uh, go to the scuff one. Um, I did get the uh, white one, as you saw before. So we'll go to the shop now. I liked the white just because I'm so envious of how the uh, white Xboxes for the employees, the ones that worked on the project, that that white looks so good. So it's kind of envious of all the white ones. I mean, you see all these uh, controllers that they have and stuff. They all uh, are pretty sweet. You got each of the uh, comp team and stuff. But I, I was really, uh, really digging the white. So that one go ahead and starts at uh, 139.95. I mean, kind of pricey and stuff, but I think they're totally worth it. So uh, what I did is I had two paddles. Um, you can always you can get the four paddles. I went ahead and got two paddles just because that mod junkies that I showed you it had two buttons, and I was so used to having a two button setup. And of course, I bought both of these um, when I was playing call of duty uh competitively so i kind of based my button preset uh off of the comp call of duty so i started with left being my uh x button because i was it was so much easier to reload and stuff and i always had to reload on the fly so that already went ahead and added uh 795 uh left it b because i was always the objective player so i i slid a lot and uh and stuff like that and I always drop i tried to drop shot as much so b was always it now uh like i said before uh in titanfall b kind of really is just crouch and so it's not as effective in titanfall as it is in other uh, first person shooters and so I'm going to get to that uh, a little bit later on what I'm going to plan on doing uh, to offset that. Because right now I can't change anything like I could my mod junkies. Uh, I left in the rumbles. I like the rumble feel. People uh, remove the rumbles for uh, a lighter controller. I don't understand how a lighter controller is going to help you. It really that kind of seems silly to me. And if you go ahead and add it, it or if you take them out, it's four bucks. I was like, well, might, as well, might as well just keep them in. Um, Again, it's completely up to you what you want to do. Uh, I didn't put the trigger stops in just because I don't feel like I needed them. Um, so that's, I'm, I guess I'm the wrong person to ask about if they're good or if they're not. I've never, this is my first scuff controller, so uh, I can't really tell you how they were on the 360 or if, if you guys have had them uh then you guys can leave me a comment and tell me what you felt and if you think that they are an, a, a thing to have. But I did not get any of the concealed triggers uh, mechanisms. And then I couldn't get the electromagnetic remapping. And that's kind of what I'm disappointed at. But I'll answer why I went ahead and bought one anyways, even though I can't uh, get this. So the electric remapping is would let me change X and B on the fly. And uh, on my mod junkies, like I showed you before, that one is completely dynamapa or dynamapper remappable. So that's what they call their remapping. Um, so I could change any button preset on the fly in between uh, loading of games and stuff like that. It was so great. Uh, with this one, since it's not available till March, I emailed Scuff and they actually told me that anything that's not available now for the Scuff one, you can wait until it becomes available and send the controller back in and just pay whatever it's going to cost like if i wanted to add the trigger mechanisms it'd be 10.95 um uh so if i want to add electromagnetic remapping it's just going to be whatever the cost is and so that's when i was like all right good i'm going to buy the controller now i'm going to have it i'm going to play with it i'm going to feel it see how it is and then uh I'm going to just add the stuff later that I want. So I'm thinking for Titanfall because there's so many more buttons that you use than in Call of Duty. In Call of Duty, I didn't use any uh, lethal grenades. I didn't use any tactical grenades. Uh, I, I was loaded with perks and a primary weapon. I had no secondary weapon. So two paddles or two buttons 
worked out great for me. But in Titanfall, you have the anti-Titan weapon, you have reload, you have uh, grenades, and uh, so much more going on that I feel like four paddles is almost going to be a must. So I will be sending mine back in to get two additional paddles, and then uh, I will be getting the electromagnetic uh, remapping. So uh, from there, we'll go on to uh, more. Uh, the grip. I wanted the default grip. You can add the scuff grip. It gives it that kind of textured feel. Um, also, I hear that the pro grip will be coming out in March. So if you wanted to send it back or wait until later in March, uh, I would assume it'd be the next two weeks. If not, then it's going to be probably April. But uh, I feel that squid grips are so much better. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a dollar cheaper to get squid grips and put them on yourself and they're just so comfortable i had a problem with my mod junkies controller that i would squeeze the controller so tight when i was playing call of duty and trying to run and do so much stuff that i actually like kind of popped a nerve in one of my fingers and you can kind of feel it after so many hours of playing but with the squid grips i don't really get sweaty palms but the com they're so comfortable to use and, and everything that i felt it was a lot better to uh just get squid grips because i had them on my mod junkies controller and i basically just peeled them off the mod junkies controller and put them on the scuff because uh they don't have xbox one versions of the squid grips yet and i just i'm just going to keep using this pair until they come out with designated cutouts for the xbox one um so i went ahead and defaulted on that uh thumbsticks i did not want their thumbsticks because again i had control freaks before i got uh my mod junkies controller and everything i pre-ordered the control freaks before the xbox one even came out so i got them within a week after the launch of this system itself and control freaks are fantastic okay they i was so skeptical of them but when i uh uh got to use them and everything it it I had to bump my sensitivity up. I'm playing on the highest sensitivity for Titanfall, and on Call of Duty, I was at like 17, so uh, or 14 or whatever. I forget what the uh, num numerical values were, but I was high, and so I, I just think it's so much better to use. You got so much more range of motion. But I left the thumbsticks out, so that saved me money right there. If you don't want to get control freaks, you can just get their longer or, or medium length. Um, thumbsticks that they have right here i didn't feel that that was worth anything and then for uh the white controller i actually see that they've added more colors when i bought mine i only had the choice of purple uh default white or green i believe um and so i went ahead and got purple it kind of looks bluish to me but if i would have known that i would have gotten blue because that white and blue right there looks fantastic so I might even, uh, when I send it back in, I might tell them to change the LED from purple to blue because that blue looks sick. Um, and then the paddle design, it just says scuff one on the back. Uh, I don't know if it would have been any different. If they add anything, I could really care less because you don't see the back of the controller. So there is my controller set up and kind of why I did it and everything. Uh, so 157.85, I think after taxes it was like 165, um, and that was even. I even used uh, Nade Shot's code, and I didn't get any of this. And so, so that's what it would be. Oh, I got the, I did get the rush pre-order, so that's why I was able to get mine so uh, quickly and everything. I totally recommend getting one of these things. Um, compared to the mod junkies, the build quality of these of these scuff controllers are so much better. I just this the mod junkies were a good and cheaper route to go if you really want a modded controller that's legal in land tournaments. You cannot have uh, rapid fire controllers in land tournaments. These are completely one hundred percent legal in land tournaments. Um, so that's why I wanted the mod junkies, and then I ended up getting the scuff. They're they're uh, so much better to use. You're not some punk using uh, all these different controllers to try and up your game. I mean, all you're doing is moving buttons from the front to the back so that you don't have to move your thumb. And so uh, 
uh, I definitely highly recommend the scuff. Um, if you wanted to go a cheaper route, the mod junkies would be fine, but I have had a couple problems with them. They do have a warranty on them, and I'm going to have to send mine back. Uh, something uh, sounds a little glitchy, and you might have heard that earlier in the uh, other part of my review. But uh, so that's it. That's my breakdown right there. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, uh, that's it. Thanks.